Hi everyone, this video presentation shows a spreadsheet demo of two-factor ANOVA, which is a case where blocking is included as the second factor. And um, in the previous presentation I showed the concept and process of analysis for a two-factor ANOVA where blocking design is employed. So what I'm going to do real quick here is to take you through the uh, simple data analysis process on Excel. And this is all summarized here. So we're going to go to data, data analysis, ANOVA, two-factor without replication. All right, so let's do that. And I'm going to go here and let's get rid of what's already been done. And so we're going to go to data, like I said, data analysis and choose two-factor without replication and OK. All right, so he's bringing up something that was done earlier, so I'm just going to delete everything just so you can see how this is all done starting out. So click right here while cursor is blinking there. I'm going to highlight our data set, making sure to, to include only one row of um, the labels. So start from block and highlight all of them like so. And check labels right here. Now, notice I didn't include the cell containing fertilizer type. All right, so I check labels, and for alpha, we're going to test at the 1% level. So 0.01, and click on output range, and then click right here. While cursor is blinking there, I'm, I'm going to select a spot like right there on spreadsheet, and then OK. And that's our output right here. So I'm just going to go ahead back to my PowerPoint where I neatly copied it over right there. So we tested at the 1% level. Now at the outset, Excel gives you this summary statistics for the five pa uh, parcels of uh, land. It shows you their averages and their variances as well as the three types of fertilizer treatments. Shows you their averages and the variance. And, but this is what we want right here. The, here at the bottom, the ANOVA results. Excel shows blocks first. It treats blocks to be the rows, the data rows, because you can see here are the rows of data. <laughs> so these are arranged in a row fashion, right? So it tells us what the sum of squares is, degrees of freedom, which is the number of blocks minus one, as you can see. Five blocks minus one gives us four. And then the mean square for blocking, which is sum of squares of 162 divided by degrees of freedom of 4. And then gives, gives us the F statistic. And this F statistic of 11.25 is equal to the mean square for blocking of 40.5 divided by the error mean square, right? Mean square error of 3.6. And then next line is actually treatments, which is the main event, so to speak. All right, treatment refers to, I go back here, to the three types of fertilizer treatments. And it calls it columns. And that's because, again, you can see they are presented in a column fashion. So it shows us the sum of squares for treatments, 137.2, the degrees of freedom, which is the number of columns minus one. And of course, going back here, there are three columns. Minus one leaves us with two. And mean square treatments, which is sum of squares treatments of 137.2 divided by two, gives us 68.6. .6. And the F statistic here is mean square treatment of 68.6 .6 divided by mean square error of 3.6. And um, gives us the p-values and the corresponding critical values based on the 1% level. So at the 1% level, we reject the null hypothesis for blocking in that the calculated f exceeds the critical value. Alternatively, p-value right here is less than alpha. So this tells us that blocking has proved effective. And for treatment, we reject the null hypothesis that the means are equal and conclude that the means are not because the calculated value of f, which is 19.6, exceeds the critical value of f, 8.65. Alternatively, notice the p-value of 0.0009 is less than 
the level of significance that we tested at, which is 1%. And that's all she wrote. 